Hey everyone, and now it's the time for another fast and speed run. It's the last one, this is Brickmo Witches. I'm going to do a new game and I'm going to do it on Master Assassin, a brutal experience, the hardest difficulty in all of the sonnet. The Brickmo Witches and Knife of Dunwall were harder than the main game. I'm going to skip every single thing which is skippable and just try to complete this DLC as fast as possible. The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. This is a fast run, speed run. Never to make an enemy of a witch. For me, fast run and speed run are the same thing, so I'm just going to... I will stick to using both terms. I don't know what the proper term is. Anyway, so... If you let yourself get killed by Corvo in your dream, it's faster than to just battle him because the duel will take a, a long time. Just get yourself it, which will quicken up this process. And I plan to do Brickmo, which is about 35 minutes. The Knife of Dunball I took 27 minutes, let's say nearly 30 minutes. And since Brickmo, which has one additional mission at the start of, I of it, I plan to do five to six minutes, five to six additional minutes for the Brickman Witches. So 35 minutes should be my goal. Keep it under this time. I already played the main game of the Sunlight Knife of Thunball and Brickman Witches, which is this DLC, plenty of times. So I know every inch, every corner. and where to go, what to do, etc. So I'm going to do it ultra fast. I'm going to use normal methods, which means no cheating, no glitches, and etc. You should be at 3500 coins before you finish up the section. Holdridge, we can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir. Or should I wait? Now this should complete the section. You should have 3500 coins if you start a new game and don't pick up your knife of thumb process. My recommendation and the absolute must if you plan to do it as fast as possible is to buy the overseer doubt the guys so that you, you disguise yourself as an overseer. I prefer to buy the boats uh, stealth for the boots and some potions. And then I'm going to use the roots and everything. Pick, it, pick them up, don't forget to do that because it's important to save some time with the, your agility, which is the most important one in terms of movement or going to higher places, jumping and overall your movement. So let's buy agility first. I'm going to buy vitality, I'm going to buy this one. And in terms of bone charms, this one, this one, and this one. Don't use your supernatural powers when you are in front of guards. Overseer. About time, Overseer. I think I forgot something. Which is to buy the shadow here. Yes. And I forgot to equip everything well I'm used to equipping them. Don't use your powers otherwise the guards will turn house time. You're disguised as an overseer so as long as you don't do anything extraordinary that they won't do anything about it. Talk to the scouts. Be careful. You are free to go. This is the Abbey's problem now. Don't use your blink because this guy will turn hostile. Don't leave any, what do you call it, 
black magic. I don't want to be cursed. No. You should use this. Pick up the runes, all of the ingots. And you feel free to leave. I got seen there and got killed. This was not good. Next try. Into this. Shadow kill is important so that you don't get too many people uh, who are behind you. Check out for the uh, K Steve24. After it is open, feel free to loot every single thing. Then you can. Oh shit. Now what you have to do is to kill this guard. You gotta kill this guard. And this guard behind there. So you can move. Best thing you can also try to just knock out this guard. And then you can move a Flizzy away. This is Master Assassin, you will die quickly in this game mode because one bullet or one sword hit should be enough to actually kill you, as far as I am concerned. Going to buy some. Maybe buy. To start the mission. What you want to do is teleport up there 
jump all the way up there. Don't worry, you can stop the time as doubt with your blink, which is not a what, what you are not able to do with Corvo in the Sonnet 1. You do it with you do it with Corvo in the Sonnet 2 with the blink time and doubt. There is a witch that you can only kill if you have spend time on level 2. What you want to do is simple. Down here, kill Edgar Wayfield with this brutal, crazy an uh, assassination, which I really enjoy. Which is really brutal to stop you and then stop your time immediately. Go up there. Use, I'm going to use the sound. Then all of the the dead eel gang. This is will turn new neutral towards you, so they don't attack you anymore. Now we are going to the other gang, which is the Hatta gang. There are two gangs who are battling each other. Now careful, there's an arc pylon right there. What you want to do is teleport right here. And teleport again. Again, and then say the password. Yeah, say the password. Now you are in the Hatter territory, where you are, should, I forgot something to take, my bad, I have to go back because I forgot something specific which is located right down in the bottom, my bad. This is this thing which you need for the antitoxin against the old Jesus, Mr. Hatter or the Hatter, whatever you want to call it. What you want to call him is several hundred years old. Let's go again. Now you can. What you need to do here is simple. Should use your bolts to shoot these things down. Teleport in there. Then you can. Just talk to Mr. Hatter. Then kill him. You don't want to do the task from Mr. Trimble anyway. Talk with Talk with Mr. Hatter. What you want to do here is simple. You need to get this item. Then you go here, take this item with you. Now we can create the anti toxin and kill Mr. Head. Otherwise, if you don't create the anti toxin you will also get killed which you obviously don't want you have to go take this one in this area break down the toxin and drink it immediately go to Hatha, kill him get the safe and leave this area Eight. 
Mr. Head was kept by, alive by a machine anyway. So, and if he dies, the whole Hatta building, all Hatta territory will get full of toxin. This is why you need to enter them. Get this guy. Be free to leave. Ray password. This section and then you go back to the careful with the arc pylon. You're almost done with the section just. Go all the way back. Now there will be witches spawning. But you had your gang and your friends and finally outnumber them anyway. Now you have to do this one. Go to break my mana. And you should be at the last mission. This should complete this mission. This is the last mission of the entire game. Now we can fill up some... Maybe some things, maybe not. What you want to do is destroy... This head of the... The skull of the dog, otherwise he infinitely respawns. If you don't do this. You want to go from this entrance. You want to go grab the key, which is located. Right in a river or lake or something. What you want? To it's a river, I guess. Which is right here. No, it's a waterfall. Sorry. Take the front row key and you can use it. Go all the way back now to where you came. This is the way where you came. You want to go back now. Doesn't matter if you do. Go right to the front door. I thought the flood of district was run down. As soon as you enter. Go right through this rubbish here. You will have to go here anyway. What you need to do is actually Go here. No, it's not here. It's this way, I guess. Yeah, it was right. Take the scale and the slanton. Then you can use the painting. You want to do teleport there? Go up here, 
so you will avoid all of the witches will save you a lot of trouble careful with the straps now you have to kill Oh, get the set. Okay, now we are done here. Use the painting. Go to the void where the Lila is located. Now you can choose if you want to kill or uh, trap the Lila in a painting. The canonical choice for the Lila is obviously to trap her in a painting since in the side two she returns as the main antagonist again. And I think trapping here is also the fast option. ID. The boy. Time to see what you really got, Delilah. You have to go here. Now you can only kill her, okay. Kill everyone, kill her. Seems like you can't do the canonical choice without collecting some items before you enter the void. So I'm just going to kill her. This uh, sounds one of the, my favorite as as the donations. A bit funny, but yeah, it's one of my favorite as a donation. They should co complete Wigmore witches for you. Other than one that at the prison, this was a fairly fast and successful run for me. Even with a low care factor. No one will ever know. I'm going to skip this one. But this one is a fight with Corvo, of course. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. I killed your empress and took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent lives hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you pass through Coldridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunball's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwell, daughter of the Empress, First of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for thou, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now. And Leo Chaos Cow just walks away. But this was the Brickman Witch's fast speed run. Thank you for watching. I think this was a fairly successful and fairly fast run, maybe even faster than 
Knife of Dawnwall, I, I will check right now. But thank you for watching and goodbye.